so I'm here with a 50 facts about me video today. I am like five feet tall. My zodiac sign is Libra. It's a Libra. I dye my hair a lot as anyone who's watched my videos for a while now has probably noticed. Wolves, bats, pigs, and foxes are my favorite animals and if Poros were real they'd probably be one too. I have a huge variety like style wise it's always changing on a daily basis. I have a really bad problem with procrastination. I am terrified of spiders. My favorite flowers are irises, but more specifically like the purple ones, and then birds of paradise. My favorite band like ever is Paramore, but Fall Out Boy comes like right there with it. I hate tea and coffee. Both of those things are just way too bitter for me. I one time like turned my entire tea into just basically a cup of sugar and it was still too bitter. Metal Alchemist is my favorite anime and manga. I like collecting video game replicas. More specifically, I really like the weapons. And this brings me to the next fact, which is, this is probably why I want to be a blacksmith. Or I'm really interested in blacksmithing, but I have no idea about any of it. But they're really cool. I like weapons. It might be a problem. I cosplay for those of you who have no idea. Prop making is probably my favorite part about cosplay just because my sewing is kind of meh. Usually I end up rushing that part which is why. But I like making props, especially like really huge props, even though I'm not super good at it. Con wise, I prefer small cons just because they seem a lot more, I don't know, friendly and casual. And it's not super credible. I like the beach, but not the ocean so much. So I never go swimming at night, mostly because I'm afraid that the ocean will like devour me. My dream place to visit ever, ever, ever is Japan, and then like Ireland is right there with it. I used to be pretty decent, I wouldn't say fluent, but I used to know both Japanese and American Sign Language fairly, fairly well, but due to not practicing or having people to talk to with it very much after the class ended, I uh, kind of forgot like everything but like the alphabet for ASL and how to say my name and Japan Japanese wise, I only really know the basics anymore. The first thing I ever noticed in anybody is their voice and their hair. My favorite candy ever is Confito. It's kind of like rock candy. Chocolate wise, it'd probably be Reese's. My favorite food is fried rice and vegetable tempura with like the tempura sauce or soy sauce. It's so good. Whenever I'm craving something, it's something salty and sweet. Apparently I eat a lot of really weird foods, which I didn't know were weird when I ate them because they were kind of just normal for our family. Like buttered Pop-Tarts after they've been toasted and then salt on green apples and this like chili powder stuff on oranges and peanut butter and marshmallow sandwiches even though they sell that sandwich cream marshmallow jam jar of stuff and I thought that's probably why it was normal. My favorite seasons are autumn and winter and that's probably because my favorite article of clothing is jumpers, so like this, especially oversized ones and like cable knits. I am a vegetarian and have been for about nine years. If you can't tell by now and don't follow me on like social sites, I have a problem with being addicted to League. Like that has become a part of my daily life. I spend so many hours on it. Yeah, that's a problem. And I'm still not good at it. Guess I would say I main sport and mid. I was adopted by my great grandparents in like, I don't know, some first grade or something like that. I have an A in psychology, so that's like an associate's degree or something like that. But I couldn't finish schooling for that because we just, we didn't have the money to even apply for the school at the time it came to apply. So I went to cosmetology school and I'm just waiting on a. 
I have too many interests to settle on one career anyway, so it's kind of okay because I keep changing what I want to do. I just kind of want to be a freelance at like everything. I would see like the typical thing and be like, I'm shy, but it's a little bit more than that. I don't like social situations. My favorite colors change depending on like what we're talking about because object wise I love pastels, especially like pastel pink stuff. And then clothing wise I prefer like neutrals and earthy tones. Whenever I get a Nintendo system, it started off as just being like coincident. Now it has been whenever I get it, the first game I always end up getting is Animal Crossing, so lucky for me, they usually always release that shortly after releasing the console. I love singing, but I suck at it. If I could live off of macaroons for the rest of my life, I totally would. Christmas is my favorite time of the year. If I were a Pokemon trainer, I would be an evolution trainer because my favorite Pokemons are, like, all of them are Eevees. <laughs> especially Espeon and Vaporeon. I always want to try to wear contacts for cosplays, but I keep hearing horror stories about them and now I am just absolutely terrified of them. I love and have an interest in like everything that's artsy and creative, so like, I... this is all blank until I like, up here. And then it doesn't want to flip through the pages anymore. And like, fashion design. And then of course photography and music and making things with like clay and whatnot. So I play a lot of different instruments. I'm not like super amazing at all of them or even really good. But I find it fairly easy to learn instruments mostly because if you read music and get a fingering chart you can pretty much play anything. I want to work in a maid cafe. But like not just at a con like to work at like Summer's Cafe or something would be amazing. But I didn't wear makeup until like my senior year of high school, I think. And even then I really wore it. And I wasn't even really good at it until recently. Well, not that good. I never gained that freshman 15 you're supposed to gain when you go to college and a lot of people do. Instead I lost like the freshman 30. I get motion sickness from first person video games and it sucks. Alice in Wonderland is like my favorite fairy tale I guess, like of all those classic kind of fairy tale-ish stories. I'm clingy-ish. I don't know how to explain it. I'm just, I'm clingy if I like you. I'm a jinx. I'm an absolutely terrible jinx. And what I mean by that is, example on the board questions are written. I knew all of them except for one. I couldn't, it was in like math class or something like that. You had, she's calling on the students randomly going up to the board. And I sat there and I'm like, I'm gonna get called and it's gonna be for the one that I didn't want. Yep, I got called for the one I didn't want. That happened a lot actually, in a lot of different classes. And then, you know, it's not always a bad thing. I've also jinxed myself out of class. I'm gonna be like, watch, this class is gonna be canceled because I don't feel like going to it. In college, this is when it mostly happened. Obviously, high school classes don't get canceled. You get a sub. Okay guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a lovely day. I hope you enjoyed this video and check out my other videos and stuff like that and links and whatnot. All right guys, bye. I didn't know why I wasn't holding the pearl for the leak part. Like this, this just makes sense. There goes the pearl. I wouldn't be very lady, like I can't balance books on my head.